Today I'm going to show you how to turn that old filing cabinet into something pretty like this one. Here's what it was before, sitting in a back corner collecting dust. And so we took all of the files out of it and cleared it out. And the drawers are really hard to remove, so we found that using some needle nose pliers and pulling the ends that were holding the drawers in really helped. And first things first, what you want to do is wash the outside of it. Okay, now that they are all washed, it's time to paint it. And usually you would want to put some primer on it, but I'm just using what we have sitting here and we don't have any primer. And that's fine, because I'm not really worried about it. I can just do more coats. And usually you would want to use Rust-Oleum because it is metal. But my mom really liked this color and she wanted a flat color to it. She didn't really care if it was glossy or not. So we're just going to try this and see how it looks. And we're not really too worried if it gets like rusty or anything because we can just repaint it because we have this paint for a while. And yeah. So when you spray paint, I'm not too great of a spray painter, but it says to do it eight to 10 inches away from the surface and you have to do it nice and even. You can't just kind of like, you can't just go all over it. You have to just nice and even and then stop and then spray it again. And then we have to let it dry for 15 minutes. So I will paint it and come back. Okay, so I finished the first coat. I'm waiting till I can turn it over so I can do the top of it. But it looks pretty good so far. Still a little light and you can still see some blue through it, but that's just because it's the first coat. And I made some boo-boos right here. It's because I was holding the can for too long or holding the nozzle down too long. So when you do that, just make sure that you're not holding the nozzle down too long. I'm just hoping that those go away on the next couple coats. That'll make it look better. And I only did the sides of the drawers because I'm going to put the paper on the top of them. So the drawers are all painted. I wasn't worried too much about putting multiple coats on them because it's just going to be on the inside of the cabinet. So we have just some regular scrap of paper here. And you can probably pick wallpaper to make it stay on a little longer. But since this is just scrap paper and we're not too worried about it, if it comes undone, then we can just some more back on it and then you will also be some Mod Podge which you can just get at a craft store if it'll focus on it so you can see what it says so this one's in matte but you can get um, glossy or they actually have different colors now I think I mean they're still like in the whitish hue but so I just cut out the hole for that pull and it doesn't have to be completely accurate because you're just going to put the things over it. And the paper is just enough that it covers almost the entire thing. But I have another piece of paper, so we're just going to add a little strip right here. And if you want to, so if I did it on this one and I did perfectly in the center, you could put like a border on each side. I am going to just going to take the Mod Podge and you can put it directly on the paper or do what I'm doing and just put it on the drawer. And make sure that you get not entirely the entire place where the paper is going to be, but just on the edges so it'll stick. So I'm going to finish this up and put the paper on and come back. Okay, so I finished putting it all on and you can see a little bit of the stripe right there, but it's it's actually just the lighting right now. It's not really all that bad. After you put the paper on, make sure that you go over the entire paper with Mod Podge on top of it. And just make sure it goes in the same direction because when it dries, you can see a little bit of the brush marks. It's not too noticeable, but you can still see it. And you will notice that there's some paper that will be hanging off the edge. And all you wanna do is just take sandpaper and just go right across the edge. And you can see it's getting a little bit of it. And then after, just go over the edges with Mod Podge again. That way it secures the edges back down. So I finished with the second drawer and I also went a little fancy and did a little stenciling just on the top of it. 
and all I used was this stencil, which is actually a quilting stencil that I got from Joanne Fabrics for like $3, and it's in the quilting section, and some more acrylic paint, and just a little stamper like this, just dabbed on the stencil. And I think it looked, I think it turned out pretty well. And if you make any mistakes, just have a wet rag next to you. Just as long as the acrylic paint doesn't dry, it wipes off pretty easily off of the spray paint. These are the poles inside of the drawers. And you can keep them the same color if that's what you choose to do. You could Mod Podge paper onto it, but that might come undone pretty easily. You could spray paint it the same color as the filing cabinet or a different color or you could do what I'm doing which is just painting it with acrylic paint and I've had this for a while it's gone a long way and I've probably got it at like Walmart or something it's pretty easy to find so I'm just going to paint the gold parts because that's all you're going to be seeing because we are going to put a piece of paper in here that says whatever the drawer is for so we're just gonna paint the gold parts and I will show you when I'm finished. So here is the final product of our filing cabinet. I didn't make a video or take a picture after I painted the drawer poles, but you can see here that they are a nice white color. And I just took some cardstock and used them for the inside name card part of the poles. We haven't figured out what we're going to write yet, so we just left it blank. Hopefully yours turns out nice and bright and colorful. We weren't looking to do anything too crazy. But if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I will be sure to answer them.